Still out crowd, rivalry round, the derby's underway. Josh Carr's gone to Fletcher. Longmuir in the ruck, Daniel Kerr trying to find Cousins. He's wrapped up by Embley. Plenty of players around the ball, holding the ball. Embley came over the top and that's why the free kick was given away. The Dockers now. They'll go forward. Dog kicking long. Longmuir up early. Whistle on the play and it's going back to Longmuir. Pebble on glass. Huge challenge for glass. 50 metres, Tim. Against Dean Cox. Didn't look a lot in it. Justin Longmuir milked it for what it was worth and it's going to be costly. He'll kick from about 15 metres out. Umpire Brett Allen right on the spot. And Longmuir, who was so good last week at Launceston, best player for the Dockers. 25 disposals. And unusual for Peter Bell. He is just uh, mouthing off beautifully there, getting into Dean Cox. And so you should. Welcome along to the Derby. Very soft. Very soft. But clever by this man. There was contact. He made the most of it. Yeah, and he was in great touch last week too. Two goals for the season so far. Lining up from 15 metres out. Directly in front. Shouldn't be a problem. It isn't. The Dock is on the ball in Derby number 21. Fletcher and he kicks it out wide. Beautifully placed kick to the lead of Selwood. Long looking for Hanson again. Worked under the ball by McFarlane. Kerr and Headland. Some talent here. Kerr waiting. Beautifully done. That's supreme football from Daniel Kerr. Over to Hanson inside the 450. Good use of the body by Lynch. He'll have a shot from 40 minutes. Great work by Hanson, popping it up. The big man, the big unit, is stuck the other day, aren't you? Hasn't been in good form, he's just got the one goal so far this year. Make that two, he's doubled his score. The Eagles get their first, scores a level. The man that really does enjoy the Western Derby is Paul Hazelby. He's got Selwood running with him at the moment. Ball spills into the middle. Peter Bell. Trying to evade the tackle, it came from Nikoski. Jones, well worked, releases Braun into the clear. Long ball inside his forward 50. Out comes Jamie Graham for his first mark. Here he is now, on the AFL stage. Well, here he is, for his first kick. Right inside the 50, looks pretty good. He's got it, welcome to the big league, Jamie Graham. He's popped up, he's getting high tens and fives all round, and why wouldn't he be? The Eagles are back in front. High ball. Sandlin's got rid of Lynch, but they didn't take the mark. Kerr. Cutting it off, though, Walker. Thornton picking up the crumbs, just banging it forward. Pavlich. Right with glass. Clever not forward, it ends up with Pavlich. The 60 metres out. This time, Medhurst has got away from Daniel Chick. Positive move for Fremantle, been great. So Medhurst. Found it hard to get into the game, this is his first shot on goal. Leading goal score in the first two games for the Dockers, five goals, three. Usually very reliable from this distance. No problems whatsoever. He's got one. Maybe that's the way to go. He's gone straight to full forward. Jamie Graham hiding away in the pocket. One down, three to go. Scores are still level. Same as the start of the game as Hazelby drives the Dockers forward. Pavlich did well. He gave it to Farmer. Lightning hands from Farmer. Over to Heath Black. Go! That's the start the Dockers are looking for in the second turn. Farmer started on the bench and... Gee, that was quick hands. Yeah, look at the little man's fired up about this. Uh, no player likes sitting on the pile at the start of the game, especially in a big game like this. He is ready to go. But again, once it's Pavlich. He was a go-to man. Too strong. Had two players there, and he just did all the hard work, got the football down. In came Farmer, in came Black, and put your glasses down. It's all over. You can't do that. You've just got to take possession and take the punishment when it comes. Long mirror over the top. Josh Carr. Cousins read it, Bell arrives late, Cousins gives it up, over to Hazelby, go! Another one to the Dockers! Two quick goals, Ben Cousins, not too happy about that. What did you think, Peter? Is it just one of those things he got a call, or was there nothing said? Oh, you never know, Paul Hazelby. 
Exeter Fremantle player has his cousins. Maybe the call was there. Very ordinary though, as far as teamwork's concerned. Just no chat, no support, but great tackle by Bell. Skipper's cap as captain's tackle. Just made the turnover and haze a bit. As easy at the moment. Time to play on and kicks it high, which is what the Eagles are looking for. Can Cox get there in time? Late, but almost got the mark. Here's Judd. And there goes Judd. He's gone. He's inside 50. He kicks the goal. He is a genius. He is the genius. I hope you're enjoying this game wherever you're watching on Fox Footy. And the Brownlow medalist is back to his best tonight. Well, the outriding of West Coast was just superb there, setting it up for a big kick. Josh Carr had no other option. The big tools and Cox Hanson just brought that football down the ground. Mikoski, plenty of people around the, the floor. And Judd, how does he shake the margin? Jim Frio did lead by 12 points after Hazelby gold at the three minute mark. Danger zone. Carr running through. Sandlands does well. There's Josh Carr. Hacks it back. Pennets! Last one bounced. Umpire. Allen said no. And Matthew Pavlich has had a couple of chances. We get a good look at it here. Playing in front, it's just important for a forward like that, quick kick. Josh Carr came screaming through that ruck duel. Trying to read the footy by himself. Like the draw football came out to him. You've just got to get it quickly in. The forwards in front, Matthew Pavlich did exactly that. He's kicked two behinds. 30 metres out directly in front. Goal no point. Does not move. Frio kick their fifth. I'm not sure. I mean, did Darren Glass have a, have a case there? Did it bubble out? Hard to tell from that angle before. But regardless, it's, it's what he said, Peter. He was standing in front. So that's where you're going to get the bulk of it. Good little gift from Sandlands. Man that high. Let's just take a look. Uh, he's taking the football fine about bouncing out. That's fine. Oh, you've never played down back. You bubbled that. Played down back. I think once. <laughs> Maybe twice. Very oh, harsh, I thought, but uh, harsh but fair. This is Fletcher. Butler. Oh, in trouble. Go. And the crowd tell the story. And they're not listening to Sam Butler. Dodd to Carr, Matthew Carr from 51 metres. Has a ping, has a shot, has a goal. Newman ominously on a couple of occasions outside. 50, Hazelby stood up to Bell, steps back inside, left foot, great vision. And there's a few holes starting to appear. The farmer's gone to ground. Cousins is in that area, nothing doing there. Now Des Hedlund can strike this, and this would be a very handy lead. Here's Hedlund, leans back. Goal on Parsons, it's Sarah Hedlund, Hedlund buggers! Have broken away! Back in 2003, round 22, so he's took some plenty of spare seats here. Here's Glass. Chips down the line, Fletcher, been good. Possession 17. Embley. Be one of the most prominent goal kickers in the comp, Andrew Embley. And they need this West Coast. Just 3 9 on the board so far. From just outside 50. Gives it everything he's got. Sandlin stands the line and clears him. That's no main feat. That is a goal. Back into the side. He's only playing game number seven. It's Troy Brother playing with the Lions a long way away. They have to kick from about 55. It's going to get right to the line. It's going to be close. Graham at the back. And the big man takes. First sauté forward. 
And how easy is this for Jamie Graham? Second kick in AFL football. Second goal. Eagles are coming. The number originally worn by Glenn Jakovic. Well, Tim, there's no doubt you've had a dictionary for breakfast or a stats book because I would have picked that. Now, West Coast going to get centre square infringement. That's 50, 50 metres. That's 50 yeah, metres against yeah, God. He ran through yeah. the mark. And all of a sudden, it's starting to unravel for Freo. And Andrew Emley goes to Stephen Dodd. They wouldn't want to cock this up, West Coast, because Dean Cox, who's probably trying to send that message to Andrew Emley, says, just back off. I've got a shot on goal coming. Just settle down a little bit there, Josh Carr. He's just got, trying to turn it over. He's just trying to get angry and get him to turn it over. And, he, and he's a master at it. Yep. He just wouldn't get, uh, want to get suckered into that. Cox has been good. They just lost some momentum in the second quarter when Cox was not on the ground and in the ruck duel. He is just going to have to work so hard for the remainder of this game for West Coast to have any sort of chance. So a goal here and the margin's back to two points. Glass off the ground. Dean Cox directly in front. When that ball went through for a goal, they've been penalised. It goes to the Ruckman in the middle of the ground. So a free pass, basically, for the Fremantle Dockers. There's something in the game. The margin is just two points. The Sandilands goes long. And there's another whistle. And it's a free kick. kick to the Dockers on, well, just outside the centre square. Yeah. This time going to Byron Shammer. Keith Fletcher, again, just getting in there. Plenty of niggle from the Fremantle players. And West Coast players reacting to some really silly stuff. No need to because they've, they've got the momentum. They've kicked the three goals in this third term as Headland breaks off. No, it's going to go it's back. Going to go back. It's going to go back to Sandlands again, I think. Oh, he's having a night out. They just keep giving him free kicks. He doesn't know why. If Pandemonium Farmer's going to snap a goal. <laughs> oh, it's the Derby. It's got everything. Now the umpires are basically trying to get control. I've never seen so many tra traffic cops in my life. Everyone's out there pointing which way. It's 50 on. metres. It is a 50 metre penalty against West Coast for that infringement. So now it goes back to the original kicker being Sandler. Correct. Well done, Tim. Otherwise it would have been a 35 metre penalty, basically. So they have to make it to the extreme, and it is a 50 metre penalty. And Aaron Sandlands will have a shot on goal from 40 metres out. Two minutes ago, his direct opponent, Cox, did likewise from a 50 metre penalty. Sandlands must kick this to even up the ledger. This is an important kick. Doesn't kick many goals, he's only kicked eight in his career. No! Knew there was someone coming and Jamie Graham stood in his way, earned the free kick. Dean Cox seems to be struggling also on centre wing, he's looking to the bench. Jeff Farmer has a couple of bounces. He looks inside, he approaches 50, he decides to chip up. Pavlich juggles, juggles, marks. Dean Cox does come off the ground, he's sucking in the deep ones. Ben Cousins just ambles on the ground. Now tucked up on the boundary line, Matthew Pavlich. He's taken seven marks. This will test him. Is he up to it? Oh yes he is! Come on he says! to get it there, but Judd very lazy with football. He's been working overtime the last 10 minutes, but just, you can't wait for a football. Lynch was there, and so too Court McManus going through. Judd got out of trouble. Cousins did likewise. Beautiful pass. That is an outstanding kick from the captain. He's already had a set shot in this third term. To drag the margin back to just seven points, with just three minutes remaining. 
They need this West Coast. This is a very important kick. A tick over 42,000 people here tonight. Looking on. Looking. Goal to Ashley Hansen. He's got it. Yep. Heading down Adrian, rooms. Yeah, that's not a good sign. No, as Whip Punder Cousins has been busy already in this last turn. Beautiful measured kick to Selwood. Hugging the boundary line. Heads to the goal square. Lynch over the back. He's still got it, has he? He can't quite pick it up. Dodd under some real pressure here. Stolen by Hanson. Around the body. He has kicked it. Oh, the goal up high's not going to move. That will be a goal. And the Eagles have hit the front in the derby. Ashley Hanson, four goals last week. None better than that this week. Let's put his team in front. And full credit to the big unit and Quinton Lynch. Just got his hand in there, bought a contest and kept battling here. Got his hand in there, made the tackle. Great work from the big guy and Hanson just pounced on it. And if you don't mind, that's an up and under. Two points to margin. Three points for Ashley Sampy. What can Chris Connolly produce? The outriding of West Coast. They've got all their players spread beautifully at the moment. And now it's starting to unravel because Thornton has run out of the square. And that's great pressure. They've done it very well tonight so far, West Coast, on these kickouts. They've spread out. They've really screened it beautifully. And that's put the pressure on the young man. So he's in the danger zone again. Since half time, West Coast. Five goals. Six. Here's the ball up, Sanderland, Judd. He's not forced, it's really interesting. Here's Cox. And the somebody bit has kicked it off. They've got their heads up there to West Coast. They kicked away. Once again, hard work. Just hard work. Dean Cox. Every time he's left the ground. West Coast have lost any sort of momentum. But Jan Cousins making sure that they didn't lose that opportunity. The two players would have put it in. Cousins, Cousins fantastic getting that football. The Dockers still under extreme pressure because Nikoski, well, he should have taken it, but we're Pundas there. The Punda, Cousins, Judd, all the stars getting involved. A combinated Sampy to Fletcher. Another star. Another goal to the Eagles. Well, Hazelby has a crack at it. Strong tackle. Ball spills. Numbers. Simply numbers. And Judd was the man outside to take it the half forward. Glass came one way. Cousins the other. The nimble foot of Darren Glass. He's not the best kick in the business, but that was a beauty. And it was off the left. Once again, Hanson just continues to work. McFarlane, as Tim has just spoken about, just seems to have lost a little bit of go. It was all over him. But Hanson just started to come into it. From 55. Has cleared the line. Three goals, 21 points to margin in Derby 21. In this game, now has the West Coast in control by 21 points, and the Dockers have 12 minutes to play to do something about it. As Braun gives it to Fletcher, and again the Eagles go forward. Hanson's been terrific in the second half with three goals. A bad bounce for him. Judd is everywhere through traffic. Slices them up, gives it over to Emily. Everybody wants to get involved here. A low ball, well rolled by Lynch. Will he go free kick for two high? Doesn't matter, doesn't need it. Gets a goal. Raining goals for the Eagles. They're all celebrating now. It's a free man to home game, but there's plenty of Eagles flags flying. And the confidence sky high for the West Coast. The big unit has just about lost his head there. He's just. But he's kept it. He's kept it. Did it beautifully. Shocking kick coming in from Andrew Embley. Well, Quinton Lynch, who was up to it, there's no doubt, kept his feet brilliantly in that. That's just a huge effort. Through. Busting through. Kick down the line, and this time, 
Midhurst takes the mark. Chip got caught out, getting yeah. involved in a bit of a frack over Luke push. Webster. Yeah. Yeah. He should have just concentrated on his man. Midhurst. Well measured for Josh Carr. For Josh Carr. He needs a goal here. 60 goals in his career. That's a beauty. That's a terrific kick. And he keeps the Dockers in it. It's getting a little bit messy though. Carr, the kick. Headland's got to take it. And he does. Or does he? He's been paid. They're having a go. Thornton from 60. Good vision. It was a great kick. Josh Carr worked very hard. This is not just the second time he's done it. He's done it about four or five times. He was working overtime. The steal he's brought to this side has been fantastic. And he's kicked the goal. Margin back to 14 points in the derby. Direct for him out at the moment to keep on going wide. Time for them to straighten up. Get Pavlitz back in the 15th and just stay straight to full forward with Luke Pat. Just doing enough West Coast. Yes. It is. Here's Black. Just bangs it in long. Just along. Banfield back with courage. Balls built. Here's Jeffrey. Goal! There's a sniff. There's a sniff for the Lockers. Celebrate to Banfield. Really shouldn't have gone. They should have stayed on the ground. To the back. Just should have stayed on the floor. But this is it for the Dockers. If they can get it here, the centre bounce, the break, move the footy forward. Anybody's game. Farmer gets the goal. And it's a glimmer of hope still. Cousins has worked very hard. He's having a spell. Everything has to go right for the Dockers. They're running out of time. Black's been good at the end. Bangs it forward. Not the bounce Carl was looking for. Braun with speed. Farmer's there to help out again. Jump comes through. Farmer did well to drag him down. Still a chance to Dockers. Pilots hand on the Farmer. Carl under pressure. Got to knock it out. Butler in turn wants Braun. We're just over a minute. Judd still working. Bangs it forward with Punders gone forward. Matera slides in. Didn't take it. Could be a free to McManus. It is. Got to get up and go. No time. Absolutely no time. Now Troy Cook's got space in the centre wing. Mark, we come inside with the voice of Carr. He steps outside Embley. He kicks long. To half forward. Mark Hazelby. Too far out to score. Inside the final minute. They need a mark, they need a goal, and then they need to win a centre break. Here's the kick from Hazelby. Longview is the target. No mark. Numbers favour West Coast. Banfield, the dip wasn't great. They dive in. Loose ball. 50-50. Headland tries to free the arms. The captain's there. The Eagles running down the seconds. They'd be happy with this. Glass pushes it back to the boundary line. Chick, that's enough. They've done enough, West Coast. They're away here, and Lynch can take it. Didn't travel the required distance. They're going to win dirt. 21. They've come from 21 points down, and West Coast will again win their 16th derby at Subiaco Oval. He's black, the dying seconds inside 50. The big fly at the back, Longmuir. Glass top pokes it to the boundary line. And there it is, West Coast. Ground. It had it all. Both sides having full momentum in a game of football, but both just battled on gallantly. Outstanding performance from Fremantle and West Coast. We've had it all today, boys. The marks, the goals, the tackles, and a bit of Biff. Terrific stuff.
A wonderful performance by the Eagles to come back. And just when they were running away with it, the Dockers found another gear, were surging at the end, but they have run out of time. Terrific victory for the Eagles. All of that